So it looks like mob coin is going up. How much more up can actually this coin go and what is the future price potential of mob? Guys, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more awesome crypto videos. Let's go and check it out. So here we are on TradeView, we can see that MOG has been massively going up here. So if we measure from this low to this high, it's about an 82% increase in just like seven days. And if you look at this massive high, it's about a 44% increase. It all depends on when you wanna look, but let's say, uh, let's say you found this coin here at the start of November. So somewhere around here. So yeah, this day right over here. Let's say you, you bought that the 2nd of November. Hey, there you go. So from this way to this high, it's about a 60% increase in just 22 days. But from the, the highest high, we have here 80% increase in just 20 days. So seeing that is pretty awesome for Mog. Now, does Mog, has a, does Mog actually have room to grow absolutely mostly because it's not really listed on all the major exchanges but it is listed on big exchanges that's the whole point if you go here to coin market cap we can see and where the volume is coming from we got here bybit bitget we got kraken kucoin xcx gate.io we got crypto.com so crypto.com did list this token so this just shows you that it's probably going to be pretty much going to be a safe meme coin. It's not going to be something that's going to be a rug pull or anything like that. But people can sell, of course. That's a th that's a thing. But that means we are still like it's not still not listed on Binance and uh, it's not listed on coin Coinbase. So that means we still have a lot of room actually to grow because most volume does come here from most meme coins does come from Binance and from Coinbase. So that means if it ever gets listed on those two exchanges, we're gonna see some massive, massive increase. So if Mog does get listed on Binance, we're gonna see really, really cool increase. If we check out here in the one month, we can see that it's up by 50%, which is pretty nice if you're asking me. So uh, we are an uptrend. This is really cool. The previous all-time high was here at 0 0.00024. So after that, it did go down here by 70%, which is a lot. Like I told you, a lot of investors are probably going to sell. But that means a lot of people did make a ton of profits here. But after that, slowly but surely, people buying, then it going up, stabilizing, going up, stabilizing, going up. And now we're hitting some awesome values. So let's actually zoom in here. Let's go to the four-hour chart to see things a little bit more different so right now it looks like we are moving to the sideways we're forming a massive massive triangle here and we're making every single time we're making like um yeah we're actually making like different highs so this is a higher high this is now again a higher high but this time it's a lower high look at this so this high is lower than this one oh this one is it's the exact same okay so that means we're slowly starting to stabilize and there's a massive chance that pretty soon we could be breaking out of this triangle. So mostly what happens here to crypto uh, when we see something like this is that uh, it bounces one more time and at the, at the fourth time it tries to break, we actually do break to its offside. side. Again, all depends if we do have the volume, if, people, if there is a community, people are interested in the coin, but mostly what happens if there's enough volume, we break through. That's the bullish scenario. So how much can we actually go up? So we got rejected one time, two times, three times, but let's say if we break out right now to the top side, how much up can we go? This is going to be, yeah, this is going to be approximately the, uh, the, the uh, how much we can actually go. This is going to be the, going to be the price target at 0 0.00042. So how much is that an increase? If we measure from this low to this high, it's about a 58% to 57% increase for MOG. That is a possibility here that could happen and we're still not there yet we're still not in the full meme coin season and that's why it does still have a lot of opportunity here to actually grow and hit some new highs but for now we're gonna see some stabilization and we're gonna try to slowly go up again now let's actually measure this with uh, this graph here if we pull it from this low so actually from this high to this low we can see something interesting the target here is a little bit lower, but it's a 0 0.0036. But if we pull this back all the way down to here, to this value, we can see that it, it actually does grow. 
So we should probably place it somewhere around here. That's it. Because we can see that it bounced off here, it bounced off here, it bounced off here. This is the true one, probably. Uh, the target should be at 0 0.00038. So again, in the short term, if we do increase, we're going to go for a 42% increase. But like I said, there's still so many things that can happen here. A really bullish indicator here is that, look at this golden line. Every single time we just bounce off of this golden line. So people buy. People just buy the dips and that's it. So it's pretty simple. People making profits here. Like not actually making profits. Uh, people buying here and then selling to make profits. Again, buying low, selling high, buying low, saying, selling high. And probably pretty soon we should be seeing like a, a massive move. If it's going to be the top side, we're going to increase by that much. But if we get rejected, if we actually uh, go bearish, then probably we're going to go back all the way here to these values where we do start to stabilize between 0 0.0016 and like 0 0.0022. So that's where we could go if we go bearish. And that's... Uh, that's going to be a correction of 40%. So at the maximum, probably. That's, again, if we now go bearish, 40% maximum correction. But mostly it's probably going to bounce off of here. So 18% and then start to stabilize in that area. That is a possibility, again, if we break to the downside. This is the bearish situation. Uh now, the whole thing is that we are still waiting for Bitcoin, actually. Now, why am I talking about Bitcoin? We have to watch Bitcoin if we want to understand the crypto market. So right now, Bitcoin is trading sideways and a lot of cryptos are going up right now. Most of them are ma having like massive corrections. I did talk about this in most of my videos that most cryptos are going to have a massive correction right now. But pretty soon, if we if Bitcoin does break to the top side, again, we're not going to see massive increases. But then when it starts to stabilize, people are going to start buying altcoins. We're waiting for that altcoin season. We are still, like I, like I said, some altcoins are going up, but not all of them. Just a couple of big contenders, they are going up. But mostly we're either stabilizing or breaking a little bit down. And you can just see that here, 7% for XLM, HBAR, again, stabilization, not moving too much up. And MOG here, again, stabilizing here to the sideways. But like I said, MOG still has a lot of opportunities because it's not listed on major exchanges. Where other contenders like Shiba Inu here have much bigger problems where Shiba right now is stabilizing the sideways, but Shiba is already listed on all the major exchanges. And last time in the previous bull run, when it was listed on a major exchange like Coinbase, it astronomically went up, like astronomically. In this bull cycle, we had Pepe here astronomically go up because of that same listing, like a Coinbase listing. And that's how much we actually went up. So 225%. But in generally this bull run, if you measure from this low to this high, it's about Look at that. So one 1446, but all the way to here, it's a almost 2000% increase. So yeah, that's a 20x, almost 21x. Really, really cool to see here. And that's why Mog does have a lot of chances here where it could go up and hit some bigger prices. Oh, let's let me just go back here. Let's see for the long term. For a really, 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 really long term, how much up we can actually go. So if we measure, I'm just going to delete this. If we measure from this high where we got rejected two times all the way to here, and we bounced off a couple of times. Yeah, again, the target is going to be about 0 0.0044. So that's the price target of this massive chart here, 0 0.0044. We're going to see in the end what's going to happen. But again, a lot of chances that we can go up and because of major listings, if they happen, that's only if they happen, we don't know 100% that they are going to happen, but if they happen, massive increases. And we're seeing here, I just saw on their Twitter, like we can see Coinbase, not Coinbase, Crypto.com uh, crypto actually talking about it, promoting it. So if Crypto.com is promoting it, then there's a chance here, that, again, the mock coin has a really big marketing team and they're probably going to get listed on uh, Binance, but they're waiting for some trade to happen. They're waiting for that rally for meme queen season to enter, and then when the, when the perfect when the time is right, 
to get listed and a massive, massive price increase. But yeah, we have to be patient for that to happen. In the end, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do want to invest into these coins, please do your own research first. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video.